Dear students, how are you? Today we are going to discuss quadratic equations. This tutorial is a continuation of my previous topic, Tips and Tricks 05, where I discuss equations. So this topic is very important and I would suggest to if you still did not watch my previous topics, I mean previous tutorials about equations in Tips and Tricks 05, go back and watch it and then come here again. So let's start. First of all, what is quadratic equations? Quadratic equations is an equation can be written like this a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero where a b and c that means a a b and c are constant or known numbers it could be any numbers one two five negative value whatever it could be so let's write this way a b and c are known numbers or you can say just constant and x is variable so what is the grade order or degree of these equations we can see from here the maximum power of variable x is 2 and in these equations there are three term right this is one uh, first term second term and third term see uh, a constant value only is this gonna be our third term so if we compare the power or exponent of variable x from this third term of uh, three terms we can see first term has maximum power two second term has one and third where x equal uh, power zero has zero so maximum power comes to that means this is a second grade equation we can say grade or order or degree okay so we can say it's a second grade or second order or second degree equations so what what we have learned a quadratic equations must be a second order or second degree or grade equations so we have learned in my previous tutorial that number of solutions of an equations is equal to number of order or grade so as it is a second grade equations that means we'll have two values of x x1 and x2 okay therefore at the end we can write a quadratic equation is a second grade equation or second order or grade whatever you say order polynomial equation in a single variable and in this equation which is x our single variable so the properties we have learned a b c are constant x is variable it's a second grade equation and it has two solutions there are more properties which is a cannot be zero why let's write the equations once again a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero if a becomes zero that means this term our first term becomes zero then the remaining two terms is b x plus c equal to zero which is a first order or first grade equation so this is not the quadratic equation okay so a cannot be zero this is a important properties remember it so there is a theorem to find out the solutions and i'm just writing the equations how we can find them so here the equation x1 2 equal to minus b plus minus a square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this formula is very very important i would suggest you to memorize it and to understand so this formula has an important part which is under the square root this part b square minus 4ac is called discriminant or delta i mean this term is expressed by delta so we can write this way delta equal to b square minus 4ac this delta tells us the nature of roots okay nature of roots what does it mean it means to see the value of delta we can understand whether roots are real or complex or equal so we can understand by determining the value of discriminant or delta so there are three terms by which we can conclude the nature of roots first if delta is greater than zero the equation has two distinct real roots then we can write the equation has two distinct real root remember real root so the important term is the equation has two roots which are real number and distinct that means not same they are different from each other so let's have an example let's write an equation x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 so the value of a here is 1 
we can see x has a hidden one here we can say like that b equal to negative 5 and c equal to 6 so let's write the discriminant discriminant gives us b square negative 5 is square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 6 which give us 25 minus 24 equal to 1 so 1 is greater than 0 okay therefore this equation has two distinct solution how we have learned the equation x1 to equal to minus b plus minus a square root of discriminant to a so here b equal to negative 5 so we are writing this way plus minus a square root of discriminant or delta which is 1 now we have to write also uh, 2a and a is 1 so it give us 5 plus minus 1 and 2 so we can write 6 divided by 2 or 4 divided by 2 so our value of x is 3 and 2 okay now the characteristics too if delta is equal to zero then the quadratic equation has one real root one real root so the important thing is the root is a single one and it's a real number so let's have an example x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to zero in this case let's find out the discriminant delta equal to b square b is negative 4 square minus 4 a is again 1 and c is 4 which will give us 16 minus 16 equal to 0 okay so let's find out the solution here x 1 2 minus b plus minus delta which is uh, 0 so we can write 0 2 a a is 1 again therefore it gives us 4 divided by 2 which is 2 so we can see when delta or discriminant is 0 then it gives us the quadratic equation gives only one single solution of that equation in this case it's 2 our third characteristics is if delta less than equal to 0 in this case the equation has two complex two complex roots so complex means not real number so again we'll get two roots which are complex or we can say if delta less than zero there are not any real roots let's find out an example we can write x square plus 2x plus 5 equal to zero where delta equal to b square which is 2 minus 4 1 which is a and c which is 5 it will give us 4 negative 20 negative 16 so the delta is negative therefore we cannot find out the solution for this case why we cannot x1 x2 equal to minus b in this case b is 2 plus minus a square root of delta which is negative 16 2 a is given 1 so if we look in this part a square root of negative something or negative numbers this is actually not real or complex today's topic is not complex number therefore we are not going to discuss about complex or complex solution so we can simply say there is no real solution for this equation if uh, delta becomes negative number then there isn't any real solution now let's discuss about three special case for quadratic equations first of all we can say uh, first case if c equal to zero or we can say if a quadratic equation doesn't have the constant term bx plus c equal to zero so not having constant term means this c equal to zero so we can write the equation this way x square plus bx equal to zero so in this case you can solve the equation or you can find the value of x using the standard solution x 1 2 minus b plus minus root over delta divided by 2a so if you just remember this equation that's fine you can solve any kind of quadratic equation by using the standard formula but if you like to remember some shortcuts or if you want to do easy way then there are other options too like this equation we can further write this way if we separate common term from this two term we can see x can be taken as common from both term then the remaining is ax plus b equal to zero so we can write x equal to zero or 
ax plus b equal to 0. I am explaining if x multiply by ax plus b equal to 0, that means either term, I mean like if among these two terms, either of them is 0. So, you can write this way, okay, x equal to 0 or x plus b equal to 0. So, x equal to 0, that means we find a solution already. We know a quadratic equation has two distinct solution and one of them for this kind of condition when c equal to 0 is 0. And other one we can find this way x equal to negative b divided by a from this term from this equation we can solve it. Now if, if an equation is given this way let's say 5x square minus 2x equal to 0 then we can write the one solution is 0 from the shortcuts and another one is x equal to negative b divided by a and we know from this equation b is negative 2 and a is 5 therefore our solution is we can cancel negative and this negative therefore 2 by 5 so for this equation our solution is x 1 2 equal to 0 and 2 by 5 so it's much easier and shorter to calculate now let's talk about second case the second case if b equal to 0 b is you know if we write the equation this way x square plus dx plus c equal to 0 so if b becomes 0 that means the second term of a quadratic equation is finished that means we can write a x square plus c equal to 0 so for this case we have to find out the solution of x we can write a x square equal to negative c which will give us x square equal to negative c divided by a therefore x equal to a square root of negative c divided by a so we can write uh, we can memorize this and if an equation is given this way let's say 5x square plus 2 equal to 0 where b equal to 0 in this equation therefore x becomes this way a square root of negative c is given 2 and a is given 5 so here we can see this is not a real number therefore we can say this equation doesn't have any real solution how about another solution this way 5x square minus 2 equal to 0 this is another equation in this case we can find a real solution let's say x equal to a square root of negative negative 2 and divided by 5 so it will give us a square root of 2 by 5 so in this case what we have to do is we have to put a positive and negative before the square root. So, as we know, a quadratic equation has two solutions. Therefore, do not forget it to put a plus and negative sign before the solution. Therefore, our answer is minus a square root of 2 by 5. Third case, this is the last case we'll discuss uh, for quadratic equation. If b and c equal to 0, in this case, we'll have only one root, one solution, and which is x1, 2, equal to 0. These are all about quadratic equation, but we like to continue more. How about first degree equation? So, let's write again the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. In this case, if a becomes 0 let's say then it becomes an quadratic not an quadratic equation but a first quadratic equation so for writing it a standard way ax plus b equal to 0 in this case we can see the maximum power of variables is 1 so this is a first quadratic equation which will have only one solution we can write this way x equal to minus b by a this is our answer but it can appear a complex one that means sometimes you may encounter a complex or difficult first degree equation let's have an example we'll solve this equation let's write x square minus 3 divided by x plus 2 so in this particular case what we can see is okay let me complete the equation first x square plus x plus twice x and x plus 2 so this is the equation it looks like a second grade equation or two degree equation but we'll see whether it's two degree or first degree so in this case we have to first calculate or first find out the linear term linear equation this is a fractional equation indeed but we have to find out a linear term and then we can decide whether it's a first degree or second degree equation so to solve this what we can do is both denominator 
is the same right x plus 2 and here also x plus 2 so these two term can be cancelled because they have the same value at the bottom so what we can write now x square minus 3 equal to x square plus x plus 2x now if we change the side or let's do it systematically if we add positive 3 at both side then it becomes x square minus 3 plus 3 equal to x square plus x plus x and 2x we can write 3x and plus 3 as we add positive 3 at left hand side and right hand side why we add this because we wanted to cancel negative 3 and positive 3 so we can cut this two term now it becomes x square equal to x square plus thrice x plus 3 our aim is to write it as an equation therefore right hand side or any side should be zero let's make left hand side zero how we can do that we can simply add negative x square at both side then this term x square minus x square and from here cancel out and the remaining equations is like that zero equal to thrice x plus three so we can write thrice x plus three equal to zero now let's solve it thrice x equal to negative three so x becomes negative one this is our answer but what i wanted to say you from here we can see it's a first degree equation not the second one at initial condition if we look here someone may confused it's a second grade equation or quadratic equation but it is not not always sometimes yes it could be but not always so today i think that's all next time we'll we'll talk about further we'll add more related topic with equations and other topics other chapters so keep watching have a good time and best of luck with your preparation